We're back out here at the Cimarron Research Station to take a look at our Bermuda grass experiment that we're doing out here, trying to eliminate it from a plot area. So we want to first look at some of the um, plastic treatments that we've been doing out here. And you might notice that there's two different colors of plastic that we've used. We use both black plastic and clear plastic. Now I first want to talk about the black plastic that we've used here. So typically when we talk about using plastic over uh, Bermuda grass to kill it, we're often talking about solarization, which really you want to use clear plastic for that. And we're going to talk about that here in a minute. But first I want to talk about why we use black plastic. And part of it was just to demonstrate the difference between clear and black. But using black plastic, that's actually a process called occultation, um, which is basically eliminating the light um, between two things. And so we're eliminating the light um, exposure to the ground here and to the grass and stuff. So we did two different um, trials under black plastic. One was tilled and one was not tilled. So this particular one was tilled and what you can see is this black plastic has prevented really anything from germinating this spring. Now keep in mind that both of these plastics have been on since we started this process last September. So we're almost coming up on a full year that these plastics have been on these plots. So as we pull it back, you can see there is obviously Bermuda grass is rhizominous. It's going to grow in from the edges. Um, but the stuff that has been growing underneath the plastic, it's actually very bleached out. And this is called blanching when you've um, eliminated the light or you've buried the plant. So you can see the, the difference. This Bermuda grass was growing over the plastic and this was underneath it. So it's still going to potentially come in and grow, um, but we really haven't gotten the temperatures up. But what happened was that black plastic prevented anything from growing, both in the tilled area and the non-tilled area. So we never had a good stand all season long under the black plastic. Now let's shift over here to the clear plastic. You can see this uh, plot was not tilled. You can see that there's still some vegetation, but at this point all of the upper growth is dried. Again, we still have a little bit on the sides. Now we suspect that um, the, the mill, the thickness of plastic that we used might have been too thick because it's pretty opaque, which means we're not getting enough solar light penetrating through here to really heat that up and create that greenhouse effect to kill everything. Um, it also might have been that there's not enough moisture underneath this at a certain point as well to help steam it. Um, it is recommended to use a clear plastic that's anywhere from two to six mil. So because six mil seemed to be a little more opaque than we wanted, what we're going to do is kind of repeat this process and we're using two mil, which is thinner. Um, so you might have to be more cautious about the wind and damage to create holes because you really want to create an envelope. Now over here, we've done a larger plot. This is a 10 by 10, probably more of a typical size for a garden bed. You can see how much condensation is forming on this. And this has only been here in place for one week at this point. So the condensation is an important factor in solarization. And again, with solarization, you're wanting to use clear plastic because the idea is that we're going to create a steam oven by capturing the solar energy. So you want as much transparency of that light going through to allow it to really heat up in there. Now to properly solarize an area, it's very important to create that seal around the edges. So again, you're going to first water your location that you're wanting to solarize, then bury plastic all the way around the edges. You can either do this by digging in the plastic or by putting more soil on top of the edges. By sealing the envelopes, you're going to allow that condensation to really be trapped in there and trap that heat. Now again, if you don't see that condensation beginning to form or forming, then you likely don't have enough moisture in your soil. So you're going to want to pull that back, irrigate that area, and then rebury those sides. Again, making sure to seal it. Don't just put bricks along the edges leaving gaps because that will allow that heat to escape. This condensation is actually a critical component to solarizing the soil. 
that's what really helps heat up this space um, and allows you to eliminate those nematodes, the fungus, insects, and other things that might, microbials that might be living in the soil causing problems on your plants. The other thing is it will also kill weed seeds potentially and the vegetation that's already existing there in that area if the temperatures reach a high enough degree. Now, right now, today, the temperature outside is about 88 degrees, according to the nearby mesonet. But you can see on our thermometer that it's actually reading 102 underneath this plastic. So that just shows you on an average day the difference underneath plastic. Now, the other thing that keep in mind is, you know, this is going to heat up this whole area. And the sun's energy, the heat, doesn't know the difference between the good guys and the bad guys. So when we remove this, after about four weeks, you want to do this in the heat of the season. And when we remove this, we're going to then want to put down some compost or something to work back into the soil those good bacteria. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.